breaking. Unam the Kanu to appear in Abuja court tomorrow, December 2. I pop. Unam the Kanu to appear in Abuja court tomorrow, December 2. Unam the Kanu to appear in Abuja court tomorrow, December 2, according to Radio Biafra, the, leader, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyedu Umazi Unam the Kanu, will be in court tomorrow, the 2nd of December. 2021 for the continuation of his case. The IPOB leadership commend a legal team for their continued effort in this case. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onyedu Mazin Namdekanu, will be in court tomorrow, the 2nd of December 2021, for the continuation of his case. The IPOB leadership commend a legal team for their, country, for their, for their continued effort in this case. And now I have a few comments here which I love to read out. The first comment here which is reaching me says, Where's all the Akuya Bokimumu morons? Let them gather here and start commenting. And the second comment which I have here says, If only Asorok and the presidency could see what will happen to the trial of MNK Mazunam De Kanum inside and outside Nigeria, the only option is to let MNK go home. And the third comment here says, See the face of this idiot criminal terrorist by God's grace. And another comment here says, Only do we regain his, his post, his stance, thanks to Eda Mbazulike Amechi. And another comment, which I have here says, It's true, he's going to answer the language he understands. And another comment too says, an impromptu arrangement to forestall teaming crowds of supporters and international journalists, more or less like a secret trial. To my dear, to my dear listeners, um, I want us to pray, to pray for Unamdekanu for his trial that would, that would commence tomorrow, December 2nd. And I want us to pray that this judgment this time around favors him and they don't keep postponing him because where he is, he's not 100% fine. And we all believe when someone is in custody, where, he's not, where, he, where he has no right, where he has no free of movement and all that, many things happen to people. So my dear listeners, I want to beseech us to please pray for Mazinam Dekano. And again, I want us to understand that bringing this case so far, government has something they, they want to do. That's the reason why they keep postponing this judgment and they do not they, they have they have their own they have they have their own secret plans, which I want every one of us to understand. So do not just let us sit and watch them to the to the to the to they come out with their final say. They already know what they will do. And let's let's not just sit at home and think of what is going to happen, what is going to do this and what is going to do that. Like um like a comment which I have here says, I doubt any stupid idiot can just write this if not reality. Amnesty is not the solution to our troubles. Wise wise was our government uh, our former president Yaradua who solved Niger Delta crisis through amnesty. Assorted, assorted weapons voluntarily submitted without taking anybody to court. Buari be wise and ask God for a way out of this situation, Mr. President. You know that to do no amount of killing punishment can stop can stop the trouble in country by government. People are, fe are fed up now. Use peaceful approach instead of power. And that's one of the problems we have in this country. Because they believe they have the power, they keep maltreating us, they keep up they they keep they keep suffering us, which I feel it is not the right thing for the government to do. And to um to be honest, if they have actually embraced a dialogue between these people for, for a very long time, this would have not gone this far. Now these people have actually come out come up with a conclusion that they want to be offered. They just want they want independent. And now the federal government do not want to grant them what they want because they know this is their right and if they should go, it will affect them in many ways. Are we are we in a country that is safe? To my dear listeners, are you also safe as 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 a citizen of this country? 
I have another comment here that says, May the name of Chuku Okike Abiyama be praised now and forever. He said, Elohim release our great and indomitable prophet, Mazinam Dekanu, I will be happiest man on earth. Because these people um, believe, believe in Mazinam Dekanu. They have trust in him. So I believe what the government should do is just to communicate with these people. Um, just just call a meeting and call these people and meet with their satisfaction, meet with whatever they want, and in a way that it won't start, in a way that it won't affect the countries in any way. But the government are trying to use the power, and I feel that is not the necessary things for us to do. Um, I don't think that someone here says this may be December fool that they might just be actually camouflaging things, saying they will take him to court tomorrow, and yet nothing fruitful will come out of it. And personally, I just pray he actually succeed this, and may the Almighty God brings him out. Some more, another comment which I have says, God has completed his good works over our leader, Namdekano. He is swearing like eagle right now, about to bounce out of the SS dungeon. Watch, watch God in action. All is well with you, my leader. When you do, who am I, Dike? One of Biafra, God is with you, he said. Um, about what this person said, we all be, we, 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 it is now glaring that these people have seen Mazinab de Kanu as someone that, as a savior. Definitely, in every, in every region, there should always be someone that can, that can stand, that can save them from all from um from any evil things that is happening someone that can come out and fight for their right but these people these government people i mean are not just 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 don't want to do whatever these people want and before i go i read the news again the leader of the indigenous people of biafra oyendu mazinamdikano will be in court tomorrow the 2nd of december 2021 for the continuation of his case the Apple Leadership Command are legating for their continued effort in this case. To my dear listeners, please do not forget to drop by the comment section and let us know what your opinion is all about. Thanks for listening to today's news. Enjoy.